Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica of Body Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be talking about automatic writing. What is it, how to do it, how I've done it, and of course at the very end, I'm gonna share with you some examples, some receipts as I like to call it, of times in the past where I've used automatic writing to connect with my guide, my spirit guides, and I've channeled some incredible messages, I'll say that. So the first thing I wanna clear up is what exactly is automatic writing and why would you wanna do it? Automatic writing is your ability to connect with source, whatever that source is, to allow yourself to be a tool to channel some really incredible prophetic messages. You can use this to connect with your higher self. You can use this to connect with your guides, your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, and you can use it to tap into some really evil forces. Most of you guys here watching this video have no intention on connecting with evil energies whatsoever. And that's why it's so important for me to say to you now at the very beginning of this video how important it is for you to make sure that you are in a healthy space in your mind, in your body, and you've already almost perfected your ability to create a, a, a ring of protection around you if you decide that you are going to do automatic writing. The reason why this is is that there are a lot of good energies out there and there are a lot of evil energies out there and sometimes oftentimes they can be really good at disguising themselves now from my own experience I have not had any super negative energies come through but I have had some gray area energies that I could sense immediately but the reason why I can sense it is because this type of work, channeling and working with the other side and working with guides or people who have passed on is something that I had at that point. I had years of experience working with, so I knew how to protect myself and I intuitively can sense when things are wrong or when energy is weird or wonky and I will cut it out. The majority of you shouldn't have any bad experiences when it comes to automatic writing, but at the same time, it is just so important for me to remind you that anytime you're working with the spiritual realms, that you must protect yourself, especially when it comes to opening up your energy to channel anything. From my experiences with automatic writing, I will actually physically feel changes within my body, especially when it comes to my entire hand and my arm. So if you are not in a space, a healthy space mentally, or you are freaked out by paranormal or working with spirits, I do not think that this is something that you should partake in. I think that you should would wait until you are confident in yourself and that you are not easily freaked out by these things because again you are using yourself as a tool to allow spirit to work through you to channel a message it's not like the tarot it's not like astrology it's not like a crystal ball you are the tool so spirit is going to use you to write whatever it is that they want to tell you the other thing that I want to say is that there needs to be a healthy sense of boundaries as well if at any point throughout the automatic writing process you start to feel uncomfortable then you need to have that ability to be like nope we're done and then push that energy out or cancel that energy if you are not comfortable with that then again automatic writing is not for you so now that I got those disclaimers out why would you want to do automatic writing well everybody has their own intentions and their own goals for trying out automatic writing or perfecting it for me personally there were two main reasons that I wanted to start and perfect automatic writing the first one was because I wanted to connect with my higher self and the second was I wanted to connect with my spirit guides. Now when I started automatic writing, I had about three years experience with working with my spirit guides one-on-one -on -one intensively every day through meditation exclusively. I would connect with them daily during my meditations because that was something that I was focused at the time. This is when I was extensively studying astrology. They were consistent and dependable when it came to delivering intuitive messages to me on the regular. I had already built up a healthy sense of trust with them. I knew what it was that they felt like. So automatic writing was just taking our relationship to the next level and literally almost like we were writing letters back and forth and I was really excited to be able to develop our relationship in that way. So automatic writing for me was a chance for me to connect with them deeper and allow me to build my trust with them and allow them to build their trust with me even further than we already had. I want to say that for a good year, I would do automatic writing at least once a week. And that's kind of aggressive. It's That's kind of aggressive. But I also was in a space in my life where spirituality was everything. I wasn't a person who was going out. I felt really called and guided by my guides. And looking at my charts, it made a lot of sense. But I felt so called to focus on my spirituality and to study it and to perfect it and to dive into different areas from meditation to astrology to past life regressions and then of course automatic writing. 
using automatic writing, I actually have drawn out visions of things that I did not see in my third eye, but that I would just draw out using my hand. I wish for the life of me that I could find one of my moments where I drew out my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend now, but my boyfriend that was in the future for me at that time. I mean, when I tell you guys, I legit had every detail of him or spirit had every detail of him like down to a T from his glasses to the way that he looked to the dog that we had together. This was a year before he, I don't want to say a year, it was less than a year, a year before he came into my life and I was asking my guides who is it that was next to come in because I was preparing for my next relationship and I was setting intention for my next relationship. Even as I'm saying this, I don't know if that he would be comfortable with me sharing a side-by-side -side picture but just trust me when I say that I use automatic writing to draw out, to allow spirit guides, my spirit guides to use my hand to draw out this vision of who was coming next into my life. And legit, every detail of this person was so specific. So that's just a really quick, small example of how you can use automatic writing and, and what my intentions were for trying out automatic writing. When it came to me connecting with my higher self, there were some decisions that I wanted to make or some decisions that I was sitting on the fence with and I would ask my higher self okay how do you feel about this what is the answer for this and my hand would you know write a yes or a no or maybe or wait or other times it would be like scribbles one thing that I will say that automatic writing is so good for is drawings, like I said, and also numbers. So if you ever want to tap into timing of when something is going to happen and you're tired of working with the tarot or if you're tired of working with astrology or you're working with the tarot and astrology and you want additional confirmation and clarification, automatic writing with your spirit guides is key. So let's go ahead and dive into how to do it, which is probably why you're watching. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna sit in a really comfortable position and allow yourself to totally relax and totally surrender any type of tension and chaos that the body is carrying. You wanna connect with your breath just as you would with any type of regular meditation or any time when you're trying to connect with your guides through meditation or visualization. If there is a guardian angel that it is that you love to work with, for example, one of my personal favorites is Archangel Michael, now is the time to call them in and ask them for their complete protection as you are setting the intention to work with your spirit guides or work with your ancestors or work with whoever, whoever it is that you're trying to connect with through the practice of automatic writing. Not only do you want to connect with a higher angel when it comes to protecting you, but you also want to add on to that with, by visualizing white light from the divine covering you and protecting you in a total orb, clearly stating and setting the intention that nothing evil, no lower vibrations, no negative energies be allowed to come in during the time or to use you as a tool to channel any type of messages. They're simply not allowed. It's really important that you are firm with your intention and spirit will always respect it. If at any point throughout the entire process that you get uncomfortable, you call the shots with this and you say, nope, we're done, everybody has to leave. Even if you can sense that your spirit guides are positive and bring positive energy, sometimes they are so excited to get their hands on you and to communicate with you that their energy can be a little aggressive and that can be overwhelming. Sometimes when you're opening your energy up, you can feel a little uncomfortable. Some of you guys might get headaches or pains or you feel vertigo or you feel dizzy. Those are things that are really, really common, but all you need to do is just be like, nope, stop, you're making me uncomfortable, calm down. Slow and steady wins the race one at a time. Take a deep breath and center yourself and ground yourself once again and focus on that orb of protection, that orb of light and spirit will respect you. So after you called out to your guardian angels or archangels to protect you and you created this ring of light around you to protect you even further and you're feeling fully relaxed, it is now time for you to call out to whoever it is that you would like to channel and that you would like to connect with. Now for me personally, usually this this is my spirit guides or my spirit guide because there's one that I like to work with in particular. And I let them know through just clear, simple communication, hey, it's me, I'm here, and I want to invite you to use my hand and use my pen and paper to channel any messages that you see for me that I need to hear right now. And of course, anything that comes through, it must be for my highest and greatest good only. Now, when you first do that for many people, at least for me personally, but I've heard this happen a lot, 
there is absolutely nothing that happens. Your hand is just sitting there, nothing happens. You feel like if you were to move your hand that it's just you doing it. Maybe for the first few times or a couple attempts at automatic writing, that is what it will feel like. I will say that it took me two to three times off from what I can remember because this was years ago. But it took me two to three times to really feel a sense of presence that would connect with me, connect with my hand, and that's when I would start to feel the changes in my body, the changes in my arm, my hand, and then my handwriting would change, and that's when I would channel messages or I would draw out certain messages. One tip that I can give you when it comes to automatic writing is when you start automatic writing and you're holding your pen or your pencil, use your hand and just move it around on top of the paper. So you're not writing anything, but it's almost like you're scribbling notes or you're just putting it in a circle, like you're drawing like circles. Part of it is like physically, you're allowing your hands to kind of loosen up, but you're also getting the energy flowing. I have noticed that this has been so successful. I don't wanna say with capturing energy, but with just allowing your guides to be like, oh, okay, she's ready, let's go, let's start writing. For me personally, I have felt like tingles in my hands to start and then over time my entire hand gets cold and super heavy or super light it's one or the other there have been times where i didn't even want to use my left hand to touch my right hand which is the hand that i was writing with while i was automatic writing because it just felt like it wasn't mine but i was channeling so much energy i was channeling so many messages and my hand was just going across the paper writing all types of nonsense writing all types of numbers drawing out certain things now that leads me to the next question that i feel that you guys are asking which is which hand should you write with should you write with your dominant hand or should should you write with a hand that you don't write with usually. Now everybody is different, but I personally, I've, I tried both ways and the one that I like and that I work with the most has been my right hand, which is the hand that I use to write with regularly. The reason why I like working with this hand is because it is the strongest, but I've also realized that this hand is so open to receiving in general my right hand. That's just how energy is for me. So I always follow my own vibes and I just kind of go with that flow, literally and figuratively. The next question I feel like you guys are gonna ask or that you're thinking in your head right now is what type of utensil do I work with or do I recommend that you work with? And I recommend using a pen like this, like a roller ink pen, and I'll explain why, or a mechanical pencil. The reason why is because any type of pen that has too much ink or that you have to force it, it really takes away from the ability for your hand to flow. You need your hand to be fluid, like you need your hand to be able to flow. And when you're, from my experience, when spirit, your spirit guides or angels or whoever takes over the energy of your hand, it needs to be light and ability to flow. If you're putting pressure, you're literally like, putting too much energy into forcing the pen down and having a mechanical pencil where you can lightly write and lightly have your pencil drag across the paper, you are going to find it more easily and effortless than you trying to force it with a pen like this. The other thing is that if you have a Sharpie pen, like you guys know I love Sharpie pens for those of you guys that are subscribed to my YouTube channel, but there are many moments where the, the pen like this, like a felt tip like this, where the ink just flows almost too effortlessly, because your hand, you're waiting for your hand and you're waiting for your spirit guides to come through and to start communicating with you, the pen just sitting there, it's going to bleed. It starts to bleed a lot. And I just feel like that's a waste of ink. So from my experience, working with a mechanical pen, or, I'm sorry, working with a mechanical pencil is so easy and so perfect when it comes to automatic writing because even the lightest strokes will be captured. And then also using a roller pen, like a roller ball pen like this, a precise one, I don't know if you guys can see that. Is something that I found that over time has proven to be very, very successful when it comes to automatic writing. And I wouldn't steer you wrong. Now, one of the first things that I recommend and that I think that you guys should do is just allow the door, the portal to be open and allow whatever it is that your angels and your guides or your spirit guide, let them talk to you and allow them to just be playful on the paper. This takes off so much pressure off of your guides and also off of yourself to understand what it is that they're writing and what is that they're trying to say and what is that they're trying to communicate. For many of you guys, this is probably your first time 
or first few times trying out automatic writing. So no one's expecting perfection from you. It's just something that you want to get comfortable with and used to before you start doing this professionally or, or on a more consistent basis. And you want to get used to what it feels like to writing, to allowing spirit, your spirit guides to work with your hands. And just like any time when you're working with your spirit guides or angels, the more relaxed you are with the process and less pressure, the more you will receive from it. I'm sure by now you figure that out for most things when it comes to spirituality that the less pressure you put on it, the more you will get from it. You always want to flow. You don't want to force. What you will notice is that you'll start to get a lot of interesting symbols or they'll, there'll be like repeating letters that they keep writing. At least that's what happened for me. Like I kept getting the infinity sign and then I would get the letter G a lot or L. Letters that require like dotting them or crossing them like an I or a T, they will do it, but you almost have to kind of observe it. So that's why it's so important again for you to take the first few times of you trying out automatic writing or trying it out again to just get back in the flow. I will say really quickly that at the start of my journey when I started with automatic writing, I had this expectation that I was going to get these full-blown letters, that I was going to get names and words or numbers, which did come through, but I quickly realized that pictures, drawing things out or allowing my spirit guides to draw things out was insane. And I mean that in the best way. I mean, like, let's go ahead and revisit that example that I said earlier on in this video where I was trying to connect with my guides to be like, okay, what is my next relationship? What do I need to set intention for? What is it that I'm manifesting? What is this person going to look like? If I would have open the door for them to spell his name or maybe put his birthday or things like that, sure, that would have been successful, that would have been great, and then maybe I did that, but I gained so much by allowing my guides to draw him out. And not only did they draw him out, but they included all of these extra details about him that I would have not had the ability to maybe write them down. You know when they say a picture is worth a thousand words? Don't box yourself up and think that automatic writing is just going to be like literally words or numbers when you can get so much from allowing your guides draw pictures for you and again a picture is worth a thousand words whatever picture it is that they're painting for you it could be filled with so much information and i remember how detailed and specific that image was and i wish for the life of me that i could find it again let me see if i'm missing out on anything i don't feel like i am okay I get this question a lot when it comes to automatic writing is what does it feel like? Well, sometimes there have been times where my whole hand has been or my whole arm has been really icy. It starts off by feeling pretty heavy and then my hand just gets really light. And of course, when I feel the energy, I just keep my hand, you know, um, coloring, I keep my hand moving and I allow the ink to just flow and then I feel, I kind of like let go of my expectation, I move my eyes elsewhere and I just allow myself to feel what it feels like when my hand is writing something and I don't apply pressure. Once you get into that space where you're comfortable with how it is that you're feeling and you know that there's a presence there, you can feel the presence of your spirit guide, you can then decide to ask questions. I would recommend by starting out by asking simple basic questions that you already know the answer to like, is my name Jessica? Do I have an apothecary? Is my favorite color green or blue? And allow them to communicate with you in that way that it's light. When you are far more comfortable and you can sense that your spirit guides are ready to work with you on the heavy hitter questions, then go ahead and ask those. Your guides will communicate with you in the way that they think is best for you in the way that they feel that you will be able to receive those messages in the way that is the most clear. But if you feel that you are not understanding what it is that you're saying, then you can offer solutions. So let's say they can't get the yes right. So you can guide them to say, okay, yes means lines this way, or yes means circle, no means up and down. Kind of like what it feels like to work with a pendulum if you've ever worked with a pendulum. I really want to emphasize the fact that this is your practice. This is your way of doing things. This is your way of working with your spirit guide. So with that, the options and the potential is limitless. I'm just sharing with you some ideas and some things that have worked for me in the past, some problems that I've experienced and also the solutions to those problems to help you to kind of navigate through this if you do decide to try out automatic writing. When you are done your session and time will fly, trust me, when you are done, you can thank your angels, your guides for working with you, for communicating with you and tell them that we are done.
We are ready to wrap up. Thank you so much for communicating. Thank you so much for being present and, and working with me. Ask your guardian angel or your protection angels to cut those cords and to clear the air and to clear the energy and then say your goodbyes. Are you guys ready to see what I have channeled and what I've written in the past? Because I'm ready to show you. <sighs> That's how you know it's serious when you have to put your hair up in a ponytail. I legit, I don't know where I put it. I legit, oh, it might be my altar. I legit was organizing the other day and I came across all of these moments that I had channeled. And I'm like, yo, I need to share this with the tribe. And I was sharing it with my friend Eric. And I'm like, I put it somewhere special so that I could remember and now I can't remember. Be right back. Oh my God, you guys, just as I was about to give up, this is always how it happens, just as I was about to give up, I found what I was looking for which is this red folder just as I was about to give up. When, he, when I tell you, I tore up the entire of my office, the entire of the apothecary. I tore up my altar because I was like, I just saw this and I was cleaning and organizing. But have you ever been so clean and organized that you can't find the things that you were looking for because it's right where it should have been the entire time? Because that's me. That's what just happened. But anyways, I did find my automatic writing and I also found this crepe Suzette. <laughs> I was like looking for it and I'm like, I need to take a break because there's, I couldn't find out, I was getting frustrated. I called my friend Eric who was with me and going through the files. Anyways, you guys don't need to hear all that. The point of the, the, point of the story is, the point of the matter, is I found my automatic writing, let me show you. So this is what my automatic writing experiences have looked like, and these are from years ago. So they start off with a lot of scribbles. Obviously this one's not the prettiest, but do you see how the handwriting here says love? This I can make out and it says yesterday. This one says, I don't know, this is yellow. So sometimes you can't really see what it says. There's love and there's, I think this says relationship. So I guess this is when I was, I don't know. You can see these like weird um, symbols here. But this is in no way, shape or form my handwriting. Right now the focus is on my some, okay, one thing I will say is that when I was doing automatic writing and I'm remembering this as I'm looking at it now, I would ask a question, like I would interrupt and I would ask my question. So this is a little bit more similar to my actual handwriting and then it, I would allow my hands to kind of drift and to write and allow my guides to communicate in the way that they will. I want you to see how much scribbles there are. You know what I mean? Like I don't want you to automatically expect that everything is going to make sense, that everything's going to like fall together. There was a lot of scribbles that were coming through. As much as I wanted it to make sense, as much as I would set the intention that I was going to get these clear resounding yes or no's or this answer, a lot of it was kind of scribbly. So this I can see as a thank you. I think that that's something that I wrote. That looks like my handwriting. What else do we have here? We have some more here. I don't know what this is. This looks like, this looks like a haircut. I wonder when this was because I ended up getting a haircut like that actually when I started Bahati Life, like when I started on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have seen that video. Interesting. Okay, here's some more automatic writing. This is when I was working with a pencil. Okay, what does it say? Break off. Break off. See, I'm trying to, this is me trying to interpret it. Break off why help. I don't know what that was. Break. I, it kept on saying break or be more. See how things get a little scribbly. That's one thing I will say looking back. Oh, I can't show you guys that one. That one's a more personal one um, on this side. But okay. One thing I will say is that my hand got. Okay, here's a, a date here August something. August. Okay, LG. So these are some things that didn't make sense, but they would show th show up and interesting. Oh, here's some more. Washington D.C., July nineteenth, twenty fourteen or twenty twelve. What happened then? Oh, look, it happened again. So July nineteenth, twenty fourteen. July nineteenth, twenty twelve. I wonder what happened then. I have to go back. 
Here's some more. There's the name Rob, obviously. What is my purpose on earth? Oh, look, boss. I'm not sure what that says, to be honest with you. Miss, you have make to do things. You go through the greatest. You make to do things. You, I don't know. So I'm sorry, you guys. I'm like kind of lost in this right now because I haven't seen this in forever. Oh, that was one thing that as I was writing, love, like love kept coming through and it was always cursive. It was the easiest thing for my hand to, oh look, boyfriend. Um, it was the easiest thing for my hand to write. So I guess I was about to enter into a relationship because love kept getting written. Okay, this is something too I'll say. I would keep getting these like squigglies like this. Together, this one looks like it says together. This one didn't make any sense, D, G, T, but sometimes it's like also the handwriting might be weird. Oh, these are some things that, okay, this is what my actual handwriting would look like. Can you angels send me a sign? My spiritual guide, can you tell me your name by writing it down so I know who to talk to? And this is the name that came through. It was like it started with an L. This is what was written, and then this is my trying, me trying to interpret it a long time ago. Then I would write down, you guys can see my handwriting clearly. Do you have any messages for me? Clear. I don't know why I said it like that. And it said its name again. Should I eat noodles for dinner? It said noodles. <laughs> Are you my spiritual guide? And it said Leo. That looks like a Leo to me. Okay. All right, you guys. So that is my experience with automatic writing some of my experiences they just happen to be in this folder i would show you guys what else is in this folder but it's a lot of readings oh let me show you the difference between my handwriting and this is what my handwriting normally looks like and this was just i don't know if you guys know this about me but i feel like you should know this by now but i teach tarot I have years of teaching tarot and studying the tarot under my belt professionally and spiritually um so i really tell everyone all of my clients and anyone who's interested in interested in studying the tarot to start a tarot journal or to document their readings this is something this is a few of those pages from my tarot journal this is what my handwriting normally looks like now it's very organized very clean very delicate it's a far cry there's a, a total difference between this handwriting and this scribbles it is very very different i was not making any of this thing up my hand handwriting is consistently looking like this here's some more pages of i was using the celtic cross so this is from my journal and i have hopes and fears justice card page of wands how others read i was studying the tarot this is years ago my handwriting has not changed like it pretty much looks the same way it's very organized Again, look at the difference between my handwriting here and here. Very organized versus this again. It's just so different. It's so different. And you can see that there is a face that was getting drawn here at the very bottom. Oh, and then look, here's my little thing that I created for pendulums way back in the day. So that's my story and i'm sticking to it this is my reality this is what it's been like for me here is my astrology chart i'm going to continue to flip through these old readings and just look back at how far i've come and things that i wanted to manifest on my vision board this is so cute that this is something that i typed out which is so or that i cut out interesting because now i'm in a phase of my life where i love gold oh look at this that's nice. Can you guys see that? I had some taste. All right, you guys. So that is how to do automatic writing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about automatic writing, definitely leave them down in the comments because I am going to answer most of them, if not all of them. I've been pretty good at answering you guys' questions and comments. Um, if you would like to share your own experiences, I am 6,000
thousand percent here to read them and hear them so you can put those down in the comments or you can put them on your IG your Instagram or Twitter and tag me in it using the hashtag Bahati vibe tribe Bahati vibe tribe and in the meantime please make sure that you are subscribed to my youtube channel because i have been cranking these videos out for you guys consistently i have no intention of stopping i've been pretty dependable i like to say when it comes to that and i post videos legit every week minimum because sometimes i post multiple videos in one week because i am just that good so i'll see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching bye Hey guys, it's me again, Jess from Bahati Life. Really quickly, I just wanted to invite you to follow me on my Instagram at Bahati Life, or you can check out my personal Instagram, Jessica X Alexandria. For those of you guys that were concerned about browsing the apothecary, creating a custom oil, even booking a reading with me, you can do that at BahatiLife.com. So I'll link all of those details down in the description box for you to make it easy. In the meantime, though, I really do want to invite you to subscribe and to turn on notifications to the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, so that you could be a part of my Bahati Vibe Tribe because I post weekly astrology and intuitive messages all the time. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!